now for the solution to open your start menu and then type reg edit that is the registry editor then right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right now before you make any kind of correction or change or updation in your registry i will highly suggest you to click on file and then click on export and then export the data which is contained in your registry editor before you do any kind of changes and just save it somewhere so that in case your system starts hanging up or there's some other problem because of the changes that you are going to make now you can always come back to registry editor then click on file and then click on import and then you can import the file that you have exported all right now once you are done with that just click on this arrow which is next to computer then click on this one h key classes root now just click on any of this option and then type msi and then you can see this one msi dot package the m is capital s i dot package then here we have to click on the arrow all right then right click on shell and then we have to create a new key all right then give it name as run as try to type exactly the same way i'm doing it all right and then getting inside it it shows default so just double click on it and then we have to edit the string now the value that we have to enter here is install space as space ampersand administrator then just click on ok all right then right click on run as and then we have to create another key and here we have to type command all right then double click on this string default and this time we have to give the value as msi exec space forward slash i space then within double quotes percentage one now I'm going to keep all these quotes in the description of the video so you don't have to worry about making any kind of mistake while typing them. You can directly copy and paste from there. All right, then just click on OK and we are good to go. Now you can restart your computer. Now once you restart your computer, open the folder where you have your MSI file. and then right click on it and this time you will find one option which says install as administrator and if you click on it installation is going to begin and you can finish the installation without any error all right so this concludes the solution too now if you are satisfied you can stop the video from here but if you want to go for the solution 3 you can keep watching the video till the end